Good morning, guys. Welcome to Monday's vlog. Yeah. All right, what's up, guys? Last night after dinner, you saw that was a big meal. Um, I was low as soon as I was drinking my shake. I'm like, dude, this is so annoying. Um, so then I checked that. I, I, I stayed low because I was like, you know what, the food's digesting. I hate those kind of lows where you just ate. So I let it digest. And then at midnight, I checked my blood sugar. It was 72. So I took half a tablet and a quarter. So basically three carbs. And I was like, I should be good. And then woke up this morning, 2.29 at 7 a.m. Took my 11 mirror, 10 and a half units. And I was like, I'm not bolusing. And then two hours later, bolusing again. So I was like, I'm just going back to sleep. And take all my insulin at once because I'm not going to break the rule again. The five hour rule. Um, so at not 8.45 a.m. I took two units of Novolog to correct the 229 in my stomach, my left side. And then I took five units of R in my other side for breakfast. So two for correction, five for breakfast. I didn't want to take eight of R. I don't know how that will work. Be too high of a dosage. Um, and I know that people that are, in, are in, on an intense insulin regimen, they do that. They'll use their basal, then their fast acting, then their, inner, uh, their rapid acting. So he has an order to actually, he said you should be taking, I don't think it really matters that that much, but next time I'll, I'll be aware of that. And then I, here's my morning routine I've been trying on my days off. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll first um, check my blood sugar. Wash my face, brush my teeth, play some music, and then I'll put my phone away on silent. And I'll read about five minutes of a mindset book. Anything about it. this is Eric Thomas, um, Greatness is Upon You. First, I'll stretch on my yoga mat for about two minutes, which I did today. I almost broke a sweat. Actually, I'm so off. I weighed in. I'm at 179 right now. I don't really worry too much about my weight. And so then I stretched on the yoga mat. And then I read about five minutes or so, and I left my phone on the side, just kind of like get me ready for the day. Uh, I want to learn how to meditate too. So I took my shot about 30 minutes ago. Should be good to eat or cook, then eat. Let's go make breakfast. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and I have to drink a whole 16 ounce of water before I eat. Breakfast is cooked up. It's been an hour since I took my dose. That's pretty long ago, but I gotta stay ahead of the game. My last blood sugar was 138, so big decrease. Obviously, Novolog's kicking in, R's kicking in, the bunch kicking in, and I got the same breakfast here. Got four eggs. I thought I was gonna eat three, but I was like, you know what? Let's go four. About eight ounces of egg whites, three carb tortilla, half of the six. Turn make vitamin D, the supplements. Water, hot sauce. Then, I'm gonna make my way shake after this. Let's eat. Cinnamon. Cheers. Now time to edit yesterday's vlog. Alright guys, I'm currently getting ready to go to the gym, but I'm not going to work out right away. I'm going to upload yesterday's vlog, you know, Wi-Fi status, got all my stuff ready and I prepped my meal for breakfast tomorrow because like I told you guys, I'm doing the morning shift, so that's good to go. I'm uh, just getting everything prepared. Alright guys, just finished the workout, about to head to Raw's, we're gonna pick up Zevia, eggs, romaine, and I don't think they're gonna have cucumbers, but I'm gonna buy those because we're running low on those, and did the chest and triceps today, pretty good workout, I took five units, I was trying to dose out five and a half because I bought an extra uh, unit just in case, and I pushed out too much, so it's like 4, 10 right now, I took my dose, I wanted to take it at 4, so I can eat at 4.30ish, but let's go shop. 
Alright, so we got about 20 eggs. And then we picked up, or I picked up romaine. About like, pretty expensive at around It's like four or three bucks. And then I got cherry cola zebia. All about $13, $14. Yes, lunch is huge. Pre blood sugar, 75. And I took my dose at 4.15 and it's 5 o'clock. I know I'm switching it up, but I took out the tortillas. I ran out and I'm going to, you know, start eating more vegetables. I've been really craving salad, cheese, and like that salty, good crunchiness. So I got spinach, a half an ounce of cheese, two, three ounces, about three and a half ounces of avocado, five ounces of cucumbers, and threw some chicken breasts in there. Here's the rest of the chicken breast, it's bones. But I would say about eight to 10 ounces of chicken breast, about three ounces of carne asada, four eggs, an ounce of almonds. All this is about 12 carbs, water, hot sauce. My main struggle is I switch up my foods, but I'm trying to find my happy spot so I don't binge eat and enjoy my meal and then continue on with my day. So I'm gonna eat this, hope for a good blood sugar after. Let's get it. All right, wash the dishes. Now time for some cherry Coke. Thumbnail time. Six twenty. It's seventy nine milligrams per deciliter. Packed up my bag. I feel like walking to the gym, but I'm gonna go edit. Um, a physique, a different kind of video for me, and um, I might get a massage with my mom, meet her, meet her up there, so I don't have to walk back too. If not, I'll just read a book after I edit, um, walk around, enjoy the day, uh, foam roll, my legs feel sore for some reason. So yeah, let's go walk to the gym. And we're off. That was a huge meal. I feel good, but I just don't like my inconsistency of calories and ingredients. Um, I think for one is, I give myself props because I have to realize that I can't come from like starting this program to perfectly eating everything like the same. Like, <laughs> there's a reason why I used to binge. It's because I like different kinds of foods. Some days I feel like eating salads. Some days I feel like eating beef. Some days I feel like eating bunch of fruit but for me to restrict my like to change up my lifestyle of eating completely is changing of my lifestyle but I want to be in that mentality of uh, live I want to eat to live not to live to eat so I think I'll get myself you know pretty soon I'll be eating the same thing it's hard for my mom too because she has to cook it up and it might be easier it's just the same thing protein is the most expensive macronutrient I've learned um, so yeah, let's go walk to the gym. Dinner should be lighter since my total calories are about 1,800 right now. I want to stay at like 2,300, finishing off the night. Probably just a shake and like vegetables and something light. Yeah. Oh yeah, and I ate a quarter tablet because it's 79. I'm pretty sure I'm going to drop a little bit. I don't think I'm going to drop too much. I'll feel it. Alright guys, that was my last blood sugar, I was 100, um, just been editing a couple videos, made a couple posts, responding to some comments, and then I bought a sparkling water because I've been really full from lunch, and I'm going to bowl this in like an hour, but right now I'm taking like a little break to foam roll, go on the bike a little bit, a little sore, um, and then I should edit this vlog after that. And dinner's gonna be pretty light. I know that inconsistency again, but I'm not that hungry, so I'd rather eat less than eat more. So I'm probably just gonna have a shake and like some kind of protein and vegetables. So yeah, let's go foam roll. So I was convinced. I decided to myself. I'm like, you know what? I'm not gonna eat dinner. It'll be great. My blood sugar will be better. I'll be at lower. I'll be at a deficit for sure. And then I was like, yeah, you know what, I'm craving some salty nuts, <laughs> toasted, roasted nuts, and a salad, avocado, so a shake, it's something light. So I was like, you know what, let me just dose. I'm home, I got a ride from my mom, because uh, she doesn't like me walking this late. I took three and a half units, it was really hard to decide how much to take, since I was only going to 
eat like a smaller amount so I'm probably gonna aim for about of meat it would be like probably three to four ounces I'll have a shake that's technically three ounces of protein and then 12 carbs be avocados nuts vegetables I already pre bowled this like 30 minutes ago and I'll be sure to check in very soon show you guys I'm just editing yesterday's vlog right now alright guys it's 956 blood sugar is 123 um, I would assume it would go down a little bit because it was a hundred before I took my units but it's alright it's been about like 15 minutes almost an hour since I dosed and dinner looks amazing it's a little light and I don't have my shake I'm gonna make my shake after here's dinner got about an ounce and a half of carne asada and then two and a half ounces of tilapia and then a salad it's just spring mix cucumbers avocados cheese I weighed everything that's I'll tell you how many carbs and then I bought these at Rolf's. It's about an ounce and a half of almonds, so three carbs. And then I weighed out the cucumbers. That was about like four-ish carbs. And then with the shake, that's going to be 12. About 10, 12 carbs. And then, oh yeah, I had to scrape off the tilapia was fried with wheat. And it was so annoying just having to scrape it off. And I had to cut some pieces off. But I'm not that hungry, so... It's okay, it's just when I start cooking, I start thinking about food, and I think that I'm hungry, but I'm not. Uh, so I'm going to eat this, enjoy it. I'm going to end the vlog during shake time. Alright guys, got the shake cooked up, or mixed up. Less ice, tastes way better. And I'm finishing up the almonds right now. Calories for the day, I would say... I'm probably at maintenance anywhere above 2,300 to like 2,600, maybe a slight surplus, slurp, surplus. <laughs> so I hope I'm below maintenance or somewhere there, but it's what it is, mindful day, went pretty well. I'm about to edit this vlog, shower, go to sleep. As usual, thanks so much for watching, please like, comment, subscribe, good night, let's go.